Hello there. Welcome back to BNN Channel 9 News. I'm Lucas Rodia. And I'm Jackson Farley. Today is Friday, January 27th. Now for news. Eighth grade night will be February 7th from 5.30 to 6.30. If your organization is interested in setting up a booth, let Miss Ritchie know as soon as possible. Tonight, Lebanon High School will be at, at 2023 Wilson County Honor Band concert at 7 p.m. Over 200 mil, middle and high school students and faculty are in the event. MJHS has 23 participating in the, in the event. A few days ago, we told you that Coach Graw won High School Assisted Coach of the Year at the state level. BNN's Ethan Odom recently sat with Coach Graw and Coach T to discuss why it makes sense that the strength and conditioning coach deserves such a big award. Well, I think every day we come in there and we do some type of dynamic warm up. Two days a week we do speed training at the beginning and then the other two days we call them X-Factor days in which we do all kinds of crazy stuff. It could be plyometrics, could be some type of agility work, something a little bit off the key, off wall. Um, and after we get done that, we usually go right into our workout. And we have primary uh, lifts, but we have primers before that, which sets them up for whatever lift they're doing. So, and then after that, we at the very end, we do some type of finisher. Um, something to kind of challenge and kind of test them a little bit, uh, see what they're kind of made of at the end of the day. Football is a game that's 48 minutes long, so when you break down the game, you, you only have maybe 120 to 130 plays each game, right? And they average, like I said, six to seven seconds apiece. One thing that Coach Graw is very good at and purposeful about is making sure that our workout mimics the game. For example, we don't do a lot of long distance training, endurance training, because football is not necessarily an aerobic sport, it's anaerobic. So a lot of what he's talking about there when he's, when he's kind of going over our day is strategic and several years ago we had a Mr. Football candidate and he ended up being an all-conference player in college and, and his biggest compliment I think to Coach Graw and to our weight program is is that there was never a day that he knew exactly what we were going to do. I'm going to be honest with you and just say to me the award is great but it's more about the investment inside the kids than anything. I mean I I didn't do this to, I didn't start coaching to get an award. I didn't do this for anything other than just to make an impact on kids' lives. Starting on February 1st, HOSA will be selling socks with the organization We Help To before school in the Commons during lunch. The money helps HOSA go to state competitions and provides legs to amputees who would not be able to afford them otherwise. The socks are $6 and HOSA will be accepting cash only. If you have any missing glasses, wallets, jewelry, keys, AirPods, etc., Please check the front office, lost and found, and get your stuff. Thank you for watching BNN Channel 9 News. I'm Lucas Rodia. And I'm Jackson Farley. And we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have a, Have fantastic, a fantastic Friday, Friday MJ. Okay. That was the best one. That was the best one. one. That was the best one. Woo! Let's go. No, I... Quiet on set. Recording in three, two... Welcome back to Channel 9 BNN News. Nope. That's not. <laughs>